The first thing you have to do is open a browser and then go to taskstream.com. This is what the website looks like. You have to sign in with your subscriber login. If you don't know how to get your login, then let us know and we'll help you. So when you log in to TaskStream, you'll be taken to the Merit College area. And the first thing that you're going to do is locate the course that you're going to add learning objectives to. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to use this course. So the first thing I do is click on the Course Assessment and Continuous Improvement Plan link. It takes me to the Workspace area. And next I'm going to click on Learning Outcomes. And you'll notice that every section of Task Stream usually has some directions for you to read if you need help at any point. Click this check out button. And there's also a link here um, to a guide on how to write student learning outcomes if you're not sure how to go about that. So next, click on create new outcome set. The set already has a name. I'm just going to hit continue. And now I'm ready to start creating outcomes. So I simply click on this create new outcome button. Now for my outcomes, I'm going to use the student learning outcomes that I have in my syllabus. So I'm just going to switch back and forth between my syllabus and task stream. So here's my syllabus. I'm going to click on it. So, so I'm simply going to copy this one, the first one, go back to task stream and I'm going to paste it in here. So I'll take that number off of there. Each outcome should have a brief descriptor. So I'm going to call this one design goals and activity. And there's a spell check, so you want to make sure and check your spelling if you're not sure that it's correct. So then I'm going to click continue and add another outcome. So let's see, this outcome is going to be using universal design, so I'm going to put that in there. So my outcomes are numbered in words, so I have to remove that number. I'm just going to call this one Use Universal Design. Continue. Add another outcome. So you get the idea. I'm just going to keep adding until I have included all or not all. I don't have to. I certainly don't have to use all of these. But, you know, four or five learning outcomes is a good amount. Let me call this one Create Multimedia Content. And then I'm going to click on Continue. So let's say I'm finished now and I'm going to go here, back to all outcome sets. And now. I see my outcomes. So that's how you add the learning outcomes and then make sure you check in. And you are done adding outcomes.